Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a topic that hits close to home for many of us bloating. Whether it's from a heavy meal, overeating, binge eating, or just a rough day, bloating can be a real pain. But fear not. I've got some easy and effective tips to help you feel more comfortable and back to your best self. Let's jump right in. First things first, if you're feeling bloated, don't be too hard on yourself. It's completely okay, you probably enjoyed a big meal because you needed it at that moment, and it's not the end of the world. Remember, you can't gain significant weight in just one sitting. What you're dealing with is likely food waste and water weight, not fat. The real issue is when these habits become a pattern over time. So, it's important to get back into your healthy routine after a binge. Be gentle with yourself and give your body some extra attention to help it recover. Taking care of your body, especially after overindulging, this is key to feeling better and getting back on track. So don't stress about it, stress can actually make bloating worse. Let's take it easy and focus on what we can do to feel better. Step two, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day helps flush out excess sodium and reduce water retention. Aim for at least eight glasses a day. If plain water isn't your favorite, try herbal teas like peppermint or ginger. They're not only soothing for the stomach, but also help with digestion and reduce bloating. Next up, choose de-bloating foods. Incorporate potassium-rich fruits like bananas and avocados into your diet. They help balance sodium levels. Fiber-rich veggies like cucumbers and leafy greens also aid digestion. Make sure to include both soluble and insoluble fibers in your diet to avoid fiber imbalance. Soluble fiber found in foods like oats, apples, and beans absorbs water and forms a gel in the digestive tract, which helps with digestion. Insoluble fiber present in foods like whole grains, carrots, and nuts attracts water into the stool, making it softer and easier to pass. And don't forget probiotics yogurt and kefir are fantastic for gut health. Now let's dive into exercise, stress management, and stomach massage. I've combined these into step four because our workout will incorporate all these elements so you won't need to worry about figuring out how to do each part separately. I've got you covered. Exercise. Regular physical activity stimulates digestion and can help reduce bloating. Focus on incorporating core and abdominal exercises to aid in de-bloating. Manage intensity. Let's listen to your body. Keep the intensity moderate to avoid overexerting yourself, which can sometimes increase bloating. Recovery time. Allow adequate time for recovery between workouts to prevent unnecessary stress on your digestive system. Practice relaxation techniques. Deep breathing, meditation, and yoga. These techniques help manage stress, relax your abdominal muscles, and improve digestion. Include stretching and yoga, digestive-friendly poses. Incorporate yoga poses like cat-cow, child's pose, or wind-relieving pose to help relieve bloating and gas. Gentle stretches. Focus on stretches that gently massage and relax the abdominal area. Stomach massage, massage technique. Gently massage your stomach in a clockwise direction to help move trapped gas and stimulate digestion. It's important to avoid using exercise as a form of punishment, as this can add stress to your body and worsen bloating. A hit or high intensity workouts might aggravate your symptoms, so this lit low intensity interval training workout is ideal for recovery. Although the workout doesn't specify, you can add speed walking for extra calorie burn and digestive benefits. Let me quickly break down the benefits of speed walking before we dive into the workout. Burns calories. Speed walking burns more calories than regular walking, aiding in weight loss or maintenance. Boosts metabolism. It increases your metabolic rate, helping you burn calories more efficiently throughout the day. Improves posture. Engages core muscles, which helps improve posture. Stimulates digestion. Promotes the movement of food through the digestive tract, reducing bloating. If speed walking isn't your thing, a leisurely walk focusing on your breathing and a gentle massage can still be beneficial. Regardless, walking is a great option. With that being said, let's get into the workout. This workout includes 25 exercises, 35 seconds on, no breaks. Instead, walk while massaging your stomach for 30 seconds between exercises. What you'll gain from this workout, loading relief and enhanced digestion, improved posture, improves core strength, Let's start. Up next, squat touchdown.
Please remember to breathe deeply and steadily throughout the workout to help maximize the deep loading effects.
But some people don't think that I'm crazy. But I don't care. All that matters to me is Isaiah. Fuck me, that ass person, don't need no Say 
no way I'm back, yeah, John and back. Yeah, your body was so clean. Your leader will be a Back it up, I, you look right. They body die, me. Oh, yeah. They might have driven crazy. They might have need a license fee. Yeah, your body at the tight body. Anybody who got eyes can't see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease.
I hope the workout helped with your bloating. Hang in there as I have more tips to share that can further assist you in managing and reducing bloating. Avoid bloating triggers. Steer clear of carbonated drinks, chewing gum, and high sodium foods. These can introduce excess air and cause your body to retain more water, leading to bloating. Reduce consumption of processed foods and artificial sweeteners. If you do eat high sodium foods, make sure to drink plenty of water to prevent your body from retaining more water and worsening your bloating. Another tip. Avoid eating late at night. Try to finish your meals at least two to three hours before bedtime. This gives your body time to digest properly and can help reduce bloating by the morning. Finally, get enough sleep. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Good rest helps your body recover and supports overall digestive health. So there you have it. Seven steps to help you tackle bloating and feel more comfortable. Remember, it's all about taking care of yourself and making small adjustments to your routine. Consistent hydration, being mindful of your habits, and choosing beneficial foods and activities can all make a big difference in your physical and mental health. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tips, and leave a comment below with your own debloating tips or questions. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.